President Obama, though, does have 300 days left in office. So do Republicans take a risk by holding off that long with the replacement for Justice Scalia, Republican senator from Utah, Warren Hatz, joins me now. Senator Hatz, thanks a lot for, for taking the time out. Uh, a lot of folks saying this is a dangerous gambit uh, on the part of the Republicans to come out in public and say uh, we're not going to, uh, to, to confirm anyone that President Obama puts up. Bottom line, I mean, does that do some serious harm to the system and to the party? Well, it's nice to be with you, Charles, but the fact of the matter is I think everybody in this country knows that this is a crucial uh, period of time and this is a crucial nominee or nominations process. And I think uh, uh, Senator McConnell was right in saying that we're in the midst of one of the most controversial presidential elections in history. And it would be uh, just awful to, to bring up a, a nominee that might be rejected by one side or the other uh, in this process. And I have to say that uh, I agree with him. I think that, you know, this hasn't been done before. The last time it was done uh, was, I think, in 1916 when Charles Evans Hughes decided, I'm talking about a nominee during a presidential uh, election year, uh, Charles Evans Hughes was the chief justice, and he left the court. Uh, to run for president. And, and so that was uh, somewhat acceptable. But this is a very different thing. And almost anybody who looks at this would have to say, if it looks at it fairly, would have to say, yeah, I don't blame the Republicans for not wanting to have another very liberal justice on the court to change the whole tenor of the court because one of uh, their great justices, Justice Scalia, died. Well, we all say that elections have uh, consequences, and of course, right. uh, Republic, I mean, uh, Democrats are saying President Obama was reelected, uh, and, the, and the American public knew that he would probably have a chance to appoint uh, at least one more Supreme Court justice, and therefore the voice of the people are being nullified by, by Republicans here. They're being not just obstructionists, but they're also going against the will of the American people. What would you say to that? Well, this country is pretty evenly divided between Republicans and Democrats. So why should, in an election year of this consequence, where there's all kinds of fighting between both parties, why should we put up with a Supreme Court nomination process just because this president wants to do it? When it hasn't been done before, and the reason it hasn't been done before is they know that uh, it, the whole process is tainted because of the uh, the politics involved. So, you know, I, if I was the president, I would I would acknowledge that and hope that uh, he can get another Democrat president to uh, make the nomination uh, next year. But, you know, they're not going to do that. He will submit a nominee. He has a right to do that, by the way. I'd be the first to champion his right to do that. But the Senate also has a right to either confirm or not confirm or even hold hearings on it. And, and uh, and I suspect, uh, to be honest with you, that Senator McConnell was right to defuse this issue and say this should not happen in this very intense election year, presidential election year, especially with uh, what's happened in the past, and, uh, and, and we're not going to do it. I, I think that's his attitude, and I think he's probably right. So, Senator Hatch, uh, what kind of public, uh, you know, of course, there's always different public relations angles, but uh, if President Obama came through with a nominee within the next 30 days and the Senate held off no matter what, including what uh, our previous guest called the interrogation of a lifetime, what could the public fallout be from that? Because people say, hey, you know what, a president is elected for a four-year term, and essentially what the GOP is doing is limiting President Obama to a three-year term. Well, I can't think of a Republican who would want another very liberal uh, justice on the court changing the whole tenor sure. of the court. And I, I think there are probably a lot of conservative Democrats who would feel exactly the same and would want to wait until the next election to see who is president. But, you know, the president has a right to submit a nomination, and, and uh, we have a right to say no. And, and I think uh, under the circumstances, I think Senator McConnell is 100 percent right. And, yeah, it's, a, it's not an easy thing to do, but this is unprecedented, really. Do you, uh, in, do, in, do you feel that some of the pressure on McConnell is coming from this GOP race in which the outsiders are dominating, in part to, to the so-called establishment letting down the general public, and this is a chance for McConnell to come back and say, hey, we do think about the grassroots, or is just something he would have done on his own? Well, I think it's probably a mixture of both. The fact is, is that, you know, Senator McConnell knows that the stakes are very high. Here you have one of the most conservative justices in history who, who dies, a wonderful friend of mine, a tremendous justice, 
and and during the during the presidency of one of the most liberal presidents, the most liberal president to have ever run for office and get elected, and and I don't think any uh, self-respecting Republican and even self-respecting Democrat conservatives will want this president to, to turn the balance of the court to the total left. It, it would take uh, it take 10 years to. Uh, to straighten out the court after that, so you know it's that's it's involved here, yeah. and everybody knows President Obama is very very partisan, and that he's going to take whatever political advantage he can here, and and do I blame him? No, but the fact of the matter is that that uh, Republicans know that, and they're not going they're not a bunch of simpletons who're just going to roll over and say, <laughs> well, it's just a process that that uh, you know that. Uh, right that uh, has to be has to be followed it doesn't have to be followed it hasn't been followed there's no reason to follow it in a presidential year that's as intense as this one right. is uh, and and i just got to say uh, i think senator mcconnell is a wise wise leader the best leader i've had since i've been in the senate and uh, i think he's trying to defuse this matter and do it in a way well, that says look it'll be up to the next president there's no doubt also that the midterm elections had consequences too and that also aids senator mcconnell senator Orrin Hatch, really appreciate your time thank nice you very to much be with you charles thanks you bet